Hey, y'all, choose here. Uh, let me join on some extra. Classic bubble. Oh. Let me page turn into. Uh, the book I'm gonna be reading from is a book called I Could Chew On This. Kind of a fitting, a fitting book. The author is Francesco Marcu Mar Marcelli Marciuliano or Marciuliano. So I do not own the rights to anything I'm about to read. Just doing this because I have a contingent of people that love whispering, gum chewing, and page turning, and I want to appeal to that contingent. So. Without any further ado, let me read it. Oh. Look at this little baby. That's so cute.
I'm trying to find some of the ones that I kind of read before doing the video. This one's called Bored. There's no pictures here. If I if there was a picture, I'd be showing you guys them. Anyway, it's called Bored. I get so bored, so very bored, being all alone, stuck inside this house. House, 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 house. <laughs> Which explains why I shoved my head inside this jar and everything has an echo. Now, does anyone have any Vaseline? I kind of like that one. Also for me, big old bath. Just thought you should know that I'm taking a bath. Now I'm going to shake. Now that feels so good. Now if you'll excuse me, I really should run back upstairs to finish my bath. Bath. Oh, I love this. That's a little baby. Also oh, cutie by the sweetie. This one's kind of funny. It's called Alpha. Scruffles is our leader. <laughs> Scruffles is our king. Scruffles is the captain of our pack. Scruffles praises we each sing. Scruffles is who we always follow. Scruffles shows us all the way. Scruffles led us to an abandoned factory in the middle of freaking nowhere. And not even a fun abandoned factory, but one that made belt buckles. Now Scruffles is why we're all thinking we really need some sort of voting process, or at least a system of checks and balances. I thought that was cute. Look at purse dog. Purse dog. Because I'm carried around in a purse high above the dirty ground does not mean I'm less of a pet, less of a dog, less of a true canine. It just means I think I can fly and that I know what lipstick and loose change tastes like. Little sweetie. This one's called Can You Smell That? I like this one when I first 
read it. I can't remember who gave me this book as a gift. I don't know if it was my friend Shirley or one of my friends, Demon So John. I, I can't remember. But anyway, this is called Can You Smell That? I smell the air. I smell the dew. I smell that rock. I smell your shoe. I smell the leaves. I smell the slug. I smell the dirt. I inhale a bug. I smell the grass. I smell the grass. I smell each and every blade of grass. I smell a butt. Oh, hey, it's low. I smell frustration. Oh, hey, that's you. I sniff, I snort, I even snuff, and with every scent my nose does sing. But you say quite sharply, it's been two hours, so let's smell what the next foot of our walk does bring. So cute. I 
a little lick. I do it all from sit to speak to attract women far and near. Then you chime in with something about fan fiction. And I realize we're going to die alone. <laughs> Where did you go? Where have you been? Do you know how long you've been gone? Three hours or 15 minutes or six months. But the point is, I've been waiting at that door for 18 straight years and every one of those 12 seconds killed me. And then our eyes lock. And then our eyes lock. And then the world stops. And then I realize, man, I'm really wrapped around your leg. Man, I'm really going to town. Man, I'm clearly not stopping. So believe me when I say our next 20 minutes together will be the most awkward of my entire life. <laughs> Never learn. Why? Why? Why do I think that every time you tell me to get in the car, you're finally taking me to the whole digging, shoe chewing, butt sniffing, ball licking amusement park and not for my shots? <laughs> It's the last chapter, I guess. Heavy thinking. It's called heavy thinking. 
It says it's not easy being a dog, especially when your person thinks you look good in hats. This is good. <laughs> this one's called the cone. Thanks to the cone, I can't gnaw at my stitches. Thanks to the cone, I can't turn my head. Thanks to the cone, I can't navigate hallways. Thanks to the cone, I get stuck in doorways. Thanks to the cone, I misjudge the stairs. Thanks to the cone, I get claustrophobic when I bend for my food dish. Thanks to the cone, I go deaf when I bark. Thanks to the cone, our every game of catch turns into basketball. Thanks to the cone, I can't gnaw at my stitches, but all these psychological scars will never heal. Oh, poor baby. Sometimes a dog can only take so much. Oh. Look at the little poo poo. Halloween. I'm gonna make this one the last one. I don't wanna go as a ballerina for Halloween. Fine, I'll go as a ballerina if you don't take any photos of me. Fine, you can take one photo of me for Facebook. If I don't have to go outside in this outfit. Fine, I'll go outside in this outfit if I don't have to be embarrassed house to house. Fine, I'll be embarrassed house to house if I can have some of your chocolate. What do you mean dogs can't have chocolate? Fine, I'll just eat the wrappers if I can throw up in your bag. Okay. You guys, I hope you enjoyed my reading from this book called I Could Chew On This and Other Poems by Dogs by Francesco Barciolano or Marculiano. And I hope you enjoyed the whispering and the gum chewing. Thanks, you guys. Take care. Bye.